Hello and welcome to today's video in the Corona Christmas collection. Today we will be working with some spinal rotations. So if you're ready, then meet me on your mat. Come into a comfortable cross-legged seated position. We will just start with some general warm-up in the spine and then we will do some more, um, some deeper rotations here. You can rest the hands on tops of the knees, close your eyes here and just arrive to your practice, taking deep belly breaths. Allowing the diaphragm to stretch on the inhalation allowing it to release and loosen on the exhalation. Then with the next exhale, take the right ear over the right shoulder, gently depress the left shoulder, pushing it away from the left ear, creating space in the left side of neck. Really good, then inhale, lift the head up and exhale. Take the left ear over the left shoulder. And just one more deep breath here. Then inhale, lift the head back to center. Exhale, take it over to the right, then slowly and carefully rolling that head down, taking the chin to the sternum, and then continuing with the roll and taking it over to the left side. And then from the left, slowly dropping the head, chin to chest, and then coming to the right. Be very mindful with the movement here. We're not taking the head back. We don't want to hurt the upper vertebrae of the spine. The cervical spine is very delicate. So we want to make sure that we look after it. Okay, just once more on each side. Going to the left and then back to the right. Good. Then from there we will lift the head up. With the next inhale, we take the arms up towards the ceiling. Interlace the bottom three fingers, point the index and the thumbs. Take a breath in and with the exhale, coming over to your left side stretching the right side of the body. Keep the heart lifted. And you can even take your gaze up underneath the right arm. Really strong in the core and actively pushing the right sit bone back into the floor. Good. Then take a breath in, bring yourself through the center, and exhale, coming to the other side, pushing the left sit bone down, contracting the lower abdominals, taking the gaze up underneath the left arm, towards the ceiling. Really good. Then inhale, we come into the center. And then the exhale, we will round the back, pushing those arms forward, separating the scapulas away from each other. Then inhale, we lift the chest up. We try to take those arms slightly behind the head, having our heart lifted here, dropping the shoulders, creating space between the shoulders and the ears. Exhale, rounding the back, lifting the pelvis, really strong in the core. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, round. 
Inhale, up. Exhale, round. And the last time, inhale, lift. Really pulling the scapulas into the back of the rib cage. And exhale, we round the back here. Staying here with the arms, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, taking the hand over to the right. So the index fingers are pointing into the same direction as the right knee. Inhale through the center. Exhale, coming to the left. Keep lifting the tummy in, rounding the back. Really good. Inhale through the center. Exhale, visiting the right side again. Then inhale through the center and coming to the left. That's it. Three more times on both sides. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One last time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Really good. Then with the next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, releasing those hands, lifting the heart up, lifting the head up. Really good. Take the left hand in the front, the right hand behind. Inhale, lift the heart, rotating the chest to the right, aligning this time the sternum with that right knee. And with your next exhale, bowing here, bringing the forehead down towards the right knee. Keep pushing the left sit bone back into the floor, really strong in the right obliques while you're stretching. The left QL muscles, and also the outer left hip. Really good. With the next inhale, lift the head up, lift the heart up. Exhale, twisting to the left, aligning the sternum with the left knee. Inhale there and with the exhale, we're going to bow. Push the right sit bone down, lift the lower tummy in. One more breath. Okay. Then with the next inhale, we'll lift the head up. Exhale, we're bringing the hands in the front, actively pushing the sit bone down, lifting the lower tummy in, and then we're rounding the back, squeezing the muscles of the core, and then trying to bring the forehead down onto the floor without lifting the sit bones away from the floor. So you should find that your lower tummy is working really hard here to push the butt back into the floor. Slowly, slowly you can begin to extend the arms towards the front. Stretching the muscles of the back. Just two more breaths. Excellent. Then bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And with the next inhale, lift the chest up. Lifting the head up last. Okay. We'll take a deep breath here. With the exhale, we will take the left hand on top of the right knee, the right hand behind. And this time we will enter a deeper rotation here, pulling onto that right knee, trying to bring the left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. Lower tummy is strong. We stay here for five breaths. Looking over the right shoulder. That's two. Three, 
four and five good inhale coming through the center changing side right hand grabs the left knee left hand behind lifting the chest here and with the exhale we're peeling the left shoulder back and trying to stick the right shoulder forward for five breaths looking over the right or the left shoulder that's one two Three, really strong in the lower tummy. Four, and five, really good. Inhale, we come back to center. With the exhale, scoop underneath the knees, bring the feet approximately mat distance apart. Take the hands behind, and then we just do some windshield wipes here, one knee at a time, releasing the knee towards the floor. Okay, so whichever leg is not moving, that knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. So we can really find the rotation of the femur bone in the hip socket here. Excellent, just once more on each side. Okay, then bring the legs together, crossing the shins, and then lifting up and back into our tabletop here. So make sure that you're contracting your lower tummy, keeping the muscles strong. With the next inhale, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, and with the exhale, threading the needle, dropping the right shoulder on the floor placing the top of the right hand on the floor and also the right temple. Place the left hand in front of the face. Try to gently lift the right hip up and push the left hip down. Take a deep breath here, shooting the tailbone up towards the ceiling, the crown of the head forward. So we create length in the spine. And with the exhale, pushing into the left hand, trying to stick the left shoulder above the right. Feeling a deep rotation in the thoracic spine here. We'll stay for five breaths. That was two already. Three. Lower tummy is strong, supporting the lower back. Four. And five. Good. Then slowly, slowly, if you have the balance, you can lift the left arm up towards the ceiling, turning the palm towards the back, placing the top of the left hand on the outside of the right hip, and this time using your own strength to peel that left shoulder back. For five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Good. Inhale, lift that arm up, palm turns back. Exhale, hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Then with the next inhale, we reach up with that right arm. And exhale, we bring the hand down. We're going to go on the other side as well. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale. Threading the needle, left shoulder comes on the floor, right hand in front of the face, lifting the left hip, dropping the right hip, drawing the lower tummy in, inhale, lengthening the spine, and exhale, rotating and bringing the right shoulder directly above the left. For five breaths, one, Two, three, four, pushing into that right hand, and five. Then inhale, lift the right arm up if you have the room. Exhale, turning the palm towards the back, 
placing it on the outside of that left hip and peeling that right shoulder back for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Inhale, right arm reaches up, palm turns back. Exhale, hand comes underneath the right shoulder. Then inhale, we lift the left arm up. And exhale, coming back into our tabletop. Excellent. With the next inhale, we'll take the right leg back. And with the exhale, we step the foot in between the hands. Then we are lifting up into our low lunge, bringing the hands into prayer. Inhale, lift the chest, find your balance, draw the lower tummy in, and with the exhale, twist into the right, hooking the left elbow on the outside of that right thigh. Four arms are creating one continuous line, and then we will press the right palm into the left, Bringing the chest over the right for five breaths, looking up towards the ceiling. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll look down on the exhale. Inhale, we lift up, keep twisting to the right. Exhale, extending the arms, right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. With the inhale, we lift the left arm up and we try to find that left heel with the right hand. And on the exhale, we will cartwheel the hands down and we step back into tabletop. Nice. Other side. Left leg goes back on the inhale. Draw the lower tummy in. Exhale, stepping the foot in the front. Inhale, lifting the chest up. Palms come in front of the heart into prayer. Exhale, rotate. Hook the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Pushing the top hand into the bottom hand. Propelling the chest open to the left for five breaths. One, if you have the room, you can look up towards the ceiling. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Looking down on the exhale. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, opening the arms out to the side. Then inhale, reaching back with the left hand, trying to find the right heel. And exhale, we cartwheel the hands down and we step back into our tabletop. We'll take a little back bend here, coming into our puppy stretch. Inhale and with the exhale, keeping the hips directly above the knees, we will reach forward with the arms and we melt the heart down towards the floor. Dropping the chin down, melting the stern towards the floor, pulling the shoulder blades back into the back of the ribcage, keeping the lower tummy active, lifting mula bandha, lifting through the pelvic floor. That's two breaths. Three. Four. And five. With the next inhale, we'll lift up. And with the exhale, we walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. We have one more stretch here. Uh, we are going to do uh, Parivrita Parshvakonasana, extended rotation side angle pose. <clears throat> Um, you can always stay with the previous version. It's a deep rotation here. Um, be very mindful with the back leg. The tendency is, is to keep uh, the heels off the floor, but we actually want to ground the feet into the floor. So if you find at any point that you're not able to ground or that you lose balance, you can always take a previous version of this posture. Okay. We take the right leg back on the inhale. 
and the exhale, step in between the hands. The same way as before, we will lift the chest up on the inhale, bring the hands into prayer, and on the exhale, we hook the elbow on the outside of the left, uh, right thigh. From here, we will extend the left hand, grounding the palm into the floor, reaching up with the right. This is also um, a version that you can do here. Or if you have the space, you can curl the left toes under, lifting up, and then turn the feet out 45 degrees, grounding through the soles of the feet. And with the exhale, you can take that right arm up above the head, creating a continuous line with the left leg, the torso, and the right arm for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we look down on the exhale. Slowly we lift the left heel up, placing the left knee on the floor, uncurling the toes. Inhale, lift the chest up. Reach back with the right hand, try to touch the left heel, left arm comes up, and on the exhale, we cartwheel the hands down, stepping back into our tabletop. Really good. We will try to do this on the other side as well. Inhale, left leg goes back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Hands into prayer. With the inhale, we lift up. With the exhale, we twist. Dropping the right elbow, either staying here, or we can work towards a deeper rotation, taking the left arm up, or we can uncurl the right toes, lifting the heel off the floor, turning the foot out 45 degrees, grounding through the sole of that foot, and then extending the left arm up above the head, opening the chest out to the left. For five breaths, one, gaze towards the tips of the fingers, two, strong in the back leg, three, drawing the lower tummy in, four, and five. Looking down on the exhale, lifting the left arm up. Lifting the right heel up, exhale, drawing, uh, dropping the right knee down, uncurling the toes. Inhale, lift through the center, try to touch the back heel with the left hand, right arm comes up. And on your next exhale, cartwheel the hands down, bring the knees together, the heels together, and just come back into your balasana, child's position. Resting here for a couple rounds of breaths. Okay, and slowly vertebra by vertebra. Lifting yourself up and then come into your Vajrasana. Now, if you want to take a rest here and lay down in Shavasana for a few minutes for relaxation, you are more than welcome to do so, but I will say goodbye here. Thank you so much for joining in for today's practice. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will Thank you so much for joining in for today's practice. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Om Shanti Namaste.